Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Hope 139. On Tuesday, Dr. Tim Royer from Hope 139 talked about retraining our brains and how that can help with things like migraines, ADHD, even anxiety. Well, today he's hooked our Stephanie up to his laptop to show us how the process works and just what her brain activity looks like, if in fact there is any at all. Can you confirm it for us, Dr. Well, that, Royer? That is the concern, is that okay. we would find something and I can confirm that we are actually seeing brainwave activity. There's no here. flat can line. You, can you sign a piece of paper and just and frame it and put it in her office? <laughs> just for Listen, what I like is that he told you to zip it. Yeah. He wants you to talk as little uh, as possible. Do you know how hard that is for me? Yeah, I, I struggle with that. Okay, so this is something that you do for people. For those who missed Tuesday's segment, we got to kind of recap. You have her hooked up. You are looking at the activity in her her brain because you can identify a number of issues that may be plaguing her. Definitely. Why is it going to be a number? Or any other person who needs this kind of help. It's called, yep. is this neurofeedback? This is neurofeedback, which is a form of biofeedback. We do a variety of things, but in this case right here, we're reading her brainwave activity. There's a lead on each ear, yes. and you can't see it, but there's a lead okay. on the top of her head, I know. and we're measuring all the electrical current. Um, and you'll be able to see that on the screen in a couple minutes. Um, we can walk through what that means if you want, or how do you Why want to Why would somebody come to you to have this done? Would they know that they want to optimize their brain use, or they know they have some kind of problem? Well, there's usually two different reasons. Usually there's a clinical issue going on, um, and most people don't take the time to get the right diagnosis, and this allows us to see what's actually going on in the brain, not mm -hmm. just behaviors, but what's at the core. Mm -hmm. The other reason is, this is effective for anybody who has a brain, which hopefully most I of us do. <laughs> yes. So we have professional athletes, we have physicians, we have all kinds of people who want to take their brain to the next level. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it starts with understanding what makes me tick. Uh -huh. uh, if you're taking medicines, what is this medicine doing to my brain? Is it positive? Is it negative? So looking at the electrical currents in there are so important to the diagnostic process but also to knowing how can we make the brain stronger. Okay, so we are looking at the screen. Is this Stephanie? This She's is just Stephanie. She's a pumping and a going. Look at all that activity. Isn't that cool? What does um, that mean now? Yeah, let me walk through a couple things here. This first graph at the top is her raw EEG. And uh -huh. the cool thing about this is this is running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from the mm -hmm. time she was born until the time she dies. This EEG run runs. This is what keeps everything clicking. The, the other thing about this is from the beginning of time till the end of time there will never be a brain wave that looks exactly like this isn't that comforting it's unique yeah <laughs> it's like her fingerprint in a That's sense cool. except it's the brain looks okay to me i'm well, no doctor yeah. but <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> well we have a few things here we need oh, to work on but, uh, really? does that does it focus him and can you check sure. focus on that because, because my i know husband, some people wonder if you have add yeah, or like something my husband like that thinks i'm really yeah, let's talk about okay. it okay. um actually before i do this guy right here measures muscle movement so bite down on your teeth for a second See how <gasps> oh, sensitive it is, that okay? Look at that brain muscle. Yeah, mm, okay. Don't be jealous. But we don't like you to bite down when we're doing the EEG. That's just want to show you how sensitive it is. These wow. brain waves, this theta wave, which is this green one, helps us figure out if there's ADD there. See this number, 1.93? Yeah. If you truly have ADD, this number will be greater than 3.0. <gasps> oh, now, that. what's going on with Stephanie is here is exactly what we see with about 60% of people who think they have ADD or even diagnosed with ADD is the brain waves do not correlate in this case with a uh, ADD diagnosis. So we have to look and see what else is going on. Got it. And I can tell you what it is if you'd like to know. Yes. Okay, let's look at this uh, last number down here, um, this 1.75. Yes. Okay. okay, the brain runs off of electricity. It can either run too slow or it can run too fast. Lay it on me, doctor. Okay, here we slow? go. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Slowly? Yeah. Actually, her brain is in overdrive. See this 1.75? Oh, yeah. I quit. I'm okay. going to take it. Yes. <laughs> I stop people don't call that me. is the end. <laughs> Albert Einstein for nothing. Sounds like well, I'm so too smart. Well, the problem is it's oh. running so fast that at times it gets to be inefficient. And it we trips. might want to call that multitasking, but it's working so hard that sometimes it's hard for her to focus yeah. and she needs to let go of some of the stuff and we need to down train this 175 to get it to about a 1.4 or less. Let me give you an example. We have some elite professional athletes that if I mention their names, you'd know who they are. Yes. They sit here at about 0.7. They're meaning, so focused. So focused, but so calm. You see, huh. Stephanie's oh, focused, but she's that. 
anxious and stress and all this stuff is going on and so it affects her efficiency and many CEOs of companies are like that many individuals we work with actually this is characteristic of what we see in our society today is people are in overdrive and they think they're accomplishing a lot but actually it's inefficient until they slow that down and get it in the zone and that's what yeah. we train because then your next yeah. step is to take this information and to help a person optimize the numbers that are really good and bring down some of the numbers that are off the charts right Stephanie's got I a great this. Stephanie's got a great brain but we can make uh. her brain much stronger than it is if we can down trade that 175 and make her look more like the brain of professional athletes that we work with. Oh, I love that. Okay, that. we want to let folks know you can find more information at www.reclaimseries.com. We have that info on our website. Be sure to check out the free lecture series. It's going on July 14th, 15th, and 16th at Matthews Auditorium. That's at Cornerstone University. It starts at 7 o'clock each night. We've also put this information again on our website, wzzm13.com. Just click on Take Five Links. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much, Doctor. Can you sign Very another good. letter for my husband saying yeah. that right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure he's doing his brain activity. <laughs> yeah, Jack and Catherine. Up next, <laughs> superstars, Ellie Landry and David Charvet. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Use that brain. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs>